Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video. So a lot of people ask me, Moz, how can I get more FPS in the games I play? And normally I'm like, hey yo, just go buy a new PC. Um, obviously I'm just messing around. So in this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys some tips and tricks for Windows 10 to make your PC run smoother and also boost your FPS in literally any game you play. If this video helps you out at all, then please do hit that like button because it will really help other people find this video. Also, while you guys are doing that, drop a comment below with what your favorite game is to play right now. One game that I'm actually very excited for is Valorant. Let me know if you guys are gonna be playing that in the comment section below. But anyways, let's finally get on with the video. So just to quickly break things down, here's my FPS scale for what I would consider good or bad. So starting off with 30 or less FPS, I consider that pretty bad, but it's still playable. It just really won't be like a fun gaming experience. Um, If you're like flat on 60 FPS, then that's pretty smooth and it's gonna be pretty comparable to you playing on uh, like a console like a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One. And then anything above 60 FPS is gonna be great for really whatever game you're playing. Um, so let's just finally get straight into it. The first thing that we want to do is go to your PC and go down to the Windows bar right here and type in Control Panel. And once you do that, hit Enter. And once you've done that, go up here to the top right and type in Power Options. And once you do that, just click on the green text right here that says Power Options. And what we want to do right away is make sure that we are on high performance. And on the chance that you don't see that right here, it might be hidden right here like in the additional plans. So you can click this right here and it might be right here. And if it's also not there as well, all you have to do is just go here and hit Create a Power Plan. From there, just hit high performance and then just make that power plan and you should be good to go. But literally, that's just the first step. Go to this power options place, just turn on high performance. It's going to favor performance for your computer. And now the next thing that we want to do is close out of this and go down here again. And what we want to do is type in notifications. Once you type in notifications, just hit enter and you will see this screen right here. And now these are basically like the window notifications that you see like on the bottom right of like your uh, computer right here. You might get them from like your browser or like Discord and things like that. We're not gonna be turning off the ones that are very important, but there are these four right here that are like kind of built into Windows, which honestly you really don't need and they kind of slow down your PC a decent amount. Like you really don't need to get tips and tricks for Windows if you've been using Windows for like over a year, right? Um, so you can honestly just turn all four of these off. You can turn off notifications completely if you want to, but I really don't recommend that because there are some things that you probably do want to get notifications for, but you can just like scroll through here and just see like what you do want to keep notifications for and what you don't want to and that will help you out as well but all i'm recommending you do is just turn these four off and you should be good to go so anyways once you're done with everything in the notifications like box right here you can close out of that go back down here to the start menu and you're probably like why do we keep going to the start menu um the reason why is because it's kind of like the central hub of your computer like you can literally search for anything um just from the start menu that's in your computer so what we want to do here is type in the word run so r-u-n and once you type that in hit enter and from here, you want to do shift five to get the percent symbol, then type in T E M P, which is short for temporary, and then hit the percent symbol one more time from there, hit enter. And once you do that, you should get a new window open up with a bunch of random folders like these ones right here. Um, these files are automatically created by your computer when it needs them. And usually when it's done using them, it will usually automatically delete them by itself. But oftentimes that just doesn't happen by itself, which kind of does suck for us because it really does waste a lot of our hard drive space. And I'm not kidding when I say, I've seen people clean hundreds of gigabytes from this folder, which makes their computer run much smoother while playing games or even just doing normal tasks on their computer. Um, when I delete all the files in here, it's probably not gonna be that extreme, but I know for a fact that for a lot of you guys watching, it might be that extreme. And I'm sure that a lot of you guys are confused, like why are we clearing hard drive space on our computer for faster performing games? And uh, the reason why it's like that is because a lot of people still have normal hard disk drives um, in their computer instead of like an SSD, which is a solid state drive. So when you have too many things in your computer taking up hard drive space, your computer has to search through all of the unneeded and un unnecessary files just to find that one file that it's looking for. And like a good example of this is like, let's say that you have like a very messy room, but you're looking for something in your room. You're gonna have to go through all of your mess, right? You're gonna have to like throw things to the side just to find that one thing that you're looking for. And that's kind of exactly how the PC works when you're using a hard disk drive instead of an SSD. It has to go through all the unnecessary files in the way just to find that one file that it's looking for. So because of that, deleting all the unneeded files in this folder, which is basically literally everything in this folder um it's gonna help you have a faster pc while gaming but also just in general like while you're browsing the computer while you're looking through your folders and things like that so anyways all you have to do from here go to the top just select everything in your folder or you can just hit Control a from there right click literally anything while everything is selected and then hit delete okay awesome so right away you can notice that it's deleted basically everything in this folder except the files that are still being used by the computer which were these like eight files like these three folders and then uh, these five text documents so it automatically won't let you delete them because it knows that they're actually being used and you'll also get this little message right here that says file in use so for that message just hit this checkbox right here and then hit skip and then from there you should be good to go the same thing's gonna happen right here it's just gonna say it's in use right now 
do this for all current items, hit skip. It just did a different thing for like the text files and then the folders. Um, so as you can see, it's going to be deleting 462 items and it's going to be moving them to my recycling bin. And also for those of you guys who just have like too many files in this temporary folder, um, when you try deleting them, you might get an option that just says delete permanently. So um, do that because your computer literally just does not have enough space to keep storing them elsewhere, such as like your recycling bin, right? So like everything that I just deleted, it just got moved to my recycling bin. But if you have way too much in here, just hit the delete permanently button because it, there, it's not going to be able to store it in the recycling bin. So from here, we can close out of this. We can literally right click on our recycling bin and then, then hit empty recycling bin just to make sure that it can delete all the files off of our computer and we can completely like free up that space that it was kind of being clogged by those temporary files. All right, after that part, this next part is super easy. Just go down here, right click on your taskbar and then hit task manager. Um, This should open up and yours might not look exactly like this, like straight off the bat. It might look something similar to this right here. And all I have to do for that to like make it look like it was before is just hit this button that says more details right here. Click that and then once you do that, go to the startup tab right here. Click that and you're gonna see all these things right here. So what you see right here is probably different like on my screen in comparison to like what's on your screen. So really all you have to do here is it's just gonna tell you all the files or all the programs that open up when you start up your computer. Only mess with the ones that you can actually recognize because some of these things you might not really understand what they mean like Realtek HD audio like you probably don't know what that means but you should definitely keep this one enabled because it's the sound for your computer. You definitely want that start, you definitely want that to like start up with your PC right? But like let's say that I don't want Spotify to open up when I start up my PC of course I just don't want that. I like to listen to music when I want to listen to it. I don't want to listen to it right as I start up my computer so I have that disabled. I click it then I hit disable and that's why it's disabled right? Right now I can re-enable it, re it if I want to but I want to keep it disabled. So go through this and look for the actual programs that you can actually recognize and then disable the ones that you don't think you actually need when you start up your computer. It's just like a super small step, but I promise you it will help your PC like startup speed a ton and it's just gonna make your PC like much faster because these things aren't gonna be running in the background when you start up your PC. So anyways, we can close out of that and we should be good, we should be good to go from there. Now what I want you guys to do is go down here and type in this PC and then hit enter and you're probably gonna see your hard drives right here and things like that. What you want to do is go to the one that has a little Windows logo right next to it, right click it and then go to properties. From there hit disk cleanup and we've already actually done two big parts of this. We've already deleted our temporary files which are right here, are actually right here, right? We've already deleted these and we've also already deleted our recycling bin. But regardless, this step is going to help you out tremendously. So go through and select literally everything that's in here. Unless you see something that says compress your OS drive. Do not check that one. Um, it really doesn't matter too much if you do, but I don't recommend that you do because it can actually slow down your computer. Um, oftentimes it not. So let's ignore that one if you see it. Um, for me, it doesn't show up. It used to back in the day, like on a different ver version of Windows, but it doesn't show up anymore. So just go ahead and select through everything. Um, we're only, we're only going to be like clearing up half a gigabyte of space, but for you, it might be like tons of gigabytes so from there just hit ok and you should be good to go just hit delete files and yeah pretty straightforward from there so anyways from there the next thing that we want to do is go to the tools tab right here and then where it says error checking just hit this check button right here and then hit scan drive now this part really shouldn't take me too long because i have an ssd but for a lot of you watching this might take quite a while so essentially what what's what's gonna be happening here is that windows is going to be doing a thorough check through your hard drive to see if you have any hard drive errors and then it's gonna try to fix them for you if needed so as you can see my drive was successfully scanned with no errors found so now we can actually close out of this and move on to the disk optimization part right here like literally right below it so you optimize right here and now the one thing that I want you guys to do here is only optimize the ones that say hard disk drive. If you see an SSD, like a solid state drive, don't optimize that one because actually defragging a SSD shortens its life and in return you literally get no performance boost at all so it's really not worth it in the end. And also one other thing that you should do is just turn off scheduled optimization. It actually slows down your PC a lot so go here turn it off um, and then like maybe set like a reminder in your phone like once every month or once every couple of weeks uh, just to come here and quickly do an optimization of your hard drives. Promise you it's going to make your PC way faster. It definitely will take some time so again just pause the video and then continue on when you're ready but it's going to help you guys out a ton if you guys are still using hard disk drives instead of a solid state drives now i'm not going to do this part because i know it's going to take quite a while like this is like an eight terabyte hard disk drive i really don't feel like optimizing it right now um so i'm just going to close out of this and i can also hit okay right here but anyways once you are done with that like if you have more than just like one hard drive in your computer you can do, go ahead and like right click it go to properties do the disk cleanup and like all the other stuff you want to um i'm not gonna do it just to like save the time in the video but again it's totally up to you like with what you want to do like when you're done watching this video anyways we can hit okay right here and now what we want to do is go down here and type in advanced system settings and i didn't even have to type it in completely and as you can see already it says view advanced system settings so if that doesn't show up for you just type it in completely but um i believe it should show up in like the prediction so hit okay right here and you'll see something like this make sure that you're in the advanced tab under the performance box right here and then hit the settings button now you'll see all these options right here some of them might be checked some might not be checked 
what you want to do is actually hit the button that says adjust for best performance. So all these are going to get automatically unchecked and then from there just hit apply and your windows is going to change as you can see like my background changed a bit um but now it changed back because i have it set because i want to use that one um but your windows appearance is probably going to change when you hit that button like as you can see my text looks different now a lot of things look different on my computer now and like right away you can see like the pc kind of like looks weird right like normally you don't see this like when you're moving around windows right like you'll see like a little uh, kind of like a trail following along like with the window right but the reason why um adjusting for best performance is good is because windows actually stops doing those like little random animations which might not seem like a lot like when you're actually using your computer but i promise you they do slow down your pc a ton especially if you have like an older pc or a pc with like lower specifications so i promise you like having your pc look like this it helps out your gaming experience a ton and of course if you don't like the way this looks you can like go through and manually manually like check the things that you do want to have on your computer and then hit apply and hit, hit okay but i really do recommend if you have like a low-end pc just leave it at best performance and then just call it a day um i'm just gonna go back to like letting windows like choose what's best for my computer because i have a pretty good pc but for those of you guys who don't, please, best performance is the way to go. So anyways, I can hit OK from there, hit OK from here, close out of this. And then one last thing I want to say is right click here, go to personalize. You're going to see this new window appear. Then from there, go to the colors tab right here. Go down here and just turn off transparency effects. It's just going to change everything to like a solid color like you can see now. This like a solid black color instead of like a see-through one and things like that. I promise you guys, after doing all the steps I showed you guys in this video and also going to your favorite game and changing the vi actual visual settings and like the actual graphic settings to like a lower one and then like working your way up, you are going to see a drastic increase in your FPS on literally whatever game you play. Wh whether it's like Minecraft, whether it's Fortnite, Valorant, CSGO, Grand Theft Auto, literally anything, you will see a massive increase in your FPS. Um, If you guys do want to share like your fps increase like in the comment section below feel free to do that but yeah that's really it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one peace